Welcome back to Cooking with Ann. We're back here with Miss Ann Grimes of Ann's Old Fashioned Flat Dumplings. But we're not cooking dumplings today. We're back into the Ann's Cookbook, which you can get online at annsdumplings.com or at area Christian bookstores. And what are we going to make today, Miss Ann? We're going to make Peggy's Orange Icebox Pie. Now, who's Peggy? Peggy's my sister. You've named all your famous dishes after somebody. Are you going to name one after well, me? Well, if you give me a recipe that's worth <laughs> eating. Now, this is your sister's recipe? <laughs> that's my mother's recipe, but it was her favorite dish. Oh, and this is a dessert. We never could get any. She ate it all. <laughs> Peggy's Orange Icebox Pie. All right, how do you do it? All right, this is a, another recipe that's uh, fairly simple, a little more complicated than some others that we've done. But um, first of all, I make uh, take orange gelatin. Uh, the small box, add a cup of water to it, dissolve it. Then I take the juice of one orange, the zest of one orange, and um, a cup of sugar. The zest That's, of one uh, orange. Where you actually get the um, outside, you've got oh. a zester like a scrap, a grater. I got you. Okay. That's what a zest uh, is called. Mix in it at okay. the zest um, right. and stir it up, put it in the refrigerator, and when it's kind of wiggly yeah. soft. Looks not, a bit like jello. Almost like jello, <laughs> but not quite uh, to that extent. Mm -hmm. um, then it's ready to mix with and the evaporated milk. I use a can of evaporated milk, uh, put it in the refrigerator, uh, let it get good and cold, and then uh, put it in the freezer for 15 minutes. Take it out, and this is what I've got in this bowl. And see, now I just learned something. You can actually whip up evaporated you milk. You can whip and evaporated it, milk. It looks like whipped it cream. It almost like whipped cream in there, yeah. And that's just, that's just the evaporated milk. There's nothing in here but evaporated milk. Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right, now what? What I'm going to do is just fold this mixture in. Mm. This yeah. looks like it might be a good summertime, springtime dessert. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, actually to me, it tastes like orange sherbet when it's fixed. Might be good for cooking out, that kind of thing. And what I have uh, here in this dish is crushed vanilla wafers. Um, no butter or anything else. It's just the vanilla wafers that I have crushed in the bottom. And you can actually do those in, um, you can take, actually what I do a lot of times is just take a Ziploc bag, wrap a towel around it, and use a mallet and crush them that way. All right. But now what we've got looks like thick whipped cream. Mm-hmm. It does look like orange sherbet. Mm-hmm. It's like orange sherbet. We right, just pour it, it in the bowl. Onto the vanilla wafers. All right. And this was your mother's recipe. This was my mother's recipe. How about that? And then I just sprinkle some on top. Ah, now is that is that more uh, this crushed is, vanilla this wafers? This is vanilla wafers. Okay. Now it's ready to go in the freezer. Now this is something you can make ahead of time. I don't want to pour it out, but that looks good. Right. It's. Um, All right. Now it doesn't go. Where does it go? It goes in the freezer, it, not in the in, oven. Put it in the freezer. For how long? Um, until it's frozen hard. Okay. So you know, four or five hours probably. Okay. Uh, then you can take it out, and like I did this one right uh, here. You this see is what it looks like. Leaf. Now this is cold. This is this a is finished product. That's a cold plate I right there. I cut it in squares. Oh man. Have you ever had any of this here? I have not. All right, let's see. Am I going to get some? I absolutely. Let's see what we've All got right. here. I have my spoon. This, this is, is frozen again. like this is really frozen like ice cream. And this, this is point, Peggy's can, orange ice box pie. You can pie. let it thaw out to where it's softer. Here we go. This is here it is. I'm going to have it. Oh man. Just like orange sherbet. It's like orange sherbet. Except it's got all the good uh, other taste with the vanilla mm -hmm. wafers and all that. Thank you, Miss Ann. You can see this and other great recipes in Miss Ann's book. Get it online at annsdumplings.com or in area Christian bookstores. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.